Hey, I am glad I ran into you. I have so many questions. Can we continue our conversation from yesterday? Yes, absolutely. Yesterday, you asked me about what a data fiduciary is. Yes. I would like to know more about a few more terms that I heard of in reference to the DPDP Act. But let's start with data fiduciary. Well, data fiduciary is any person who alone or in conjunction with other persons determines the purpose and means of processing of personal data. I am not sure I understand it. Um, let's look at a quick example. Krishna, an individual, opens a bank account using the mobile application of HNFC, a bank. In this case, HNFC is the data fiduciary. The central government may notify any data fiduciary or a class of data fiduciaries as significant data fiduciary, based on certain factors including volume and sensitivity of personal data processed as well as the risk of harm to a data principal. Ah, oh, I got it now. Would Krishna be the data principal in this case? Yes. Data principal is any individual to whom person data relates. In case of a child, it includes parents or lawful guardians, and in case of a person with disability, it includes their lawful guardian. It's the same as data subject then? Yes, you got it right! Who's a data processor? Data processor is any person who processes personal data on behalf of a data fiduciary. I also heard that the central government would set up a data protection board of India. What would the board do? The board will be tasked with monitoring compliance, inquiring into breaches, and imposing penalties, and directing remedial or mitigation measures in case of a data breach. Thanks Lena, I have a lot more to learn from you but we've already extended the break. We'll catch you soon again for more such informations.